Welcome back to the Archblaze! Oh, I'm hate, Daffy Duck! I hate the stoop. You're floating over the ocean. Space is an ocean. Wait, what do you think I said? Um, I'm Daffy Duck? <laughs> yeah! What is that coming from? Like, a space is an ocean? It, it's what? because uh, I made that stupid clown voice for the third episode in a row. The uh, beginning of the episode? No. No, you, you've not done that recently. Oh. No. Bees, my god. <laughs> a deadly bee weapon. Bees, my god. <laughs> and then that eventually morphed into bees, my god. <laughs> I'll murder you to death. I'll, I'll kill you. I'll kill you to death. <laughs> I'll kill you to death. Okay. You have to do uh, a I don't super... Want, I do not want to do the Superboy Prime voice because it's so annoying. It's not like ironically annoying. It's not like like enjoyably annoying it's just really bad and i hate it and I... like i like it when linkara does it because it's bad in context but i'm always wait, wait, thinking oh. like man this is hilarious please don't do that voice anymore i hate it i like it mainly because uh fuck superboy prime <laughs> or what he became uh he was always like that yo really uh I thought not I th always always but I thought, you know i felt like at one point uh, he didn't fall into cosmos Magazine. It was like his reintroduction into the, into continuity was as that kind of character. He like yeah, that's that's he, that's he what got... I'm saying. He wasn't always like that. Like he he originally was something else, but then uh, they brought him back. And as, when they brought him back, he was a pile of shit and a whiny baby. Yeah, a super whiny prime. Uh, super baby. Did you know that that was a that was a real thing? Super Baby, Superman got transformed into a baby. I knew Bat Baby was a thing. Yeah. Oh, Bat Tot. They may have called him Bat Baby, but Bat and, Kid. And he was it was ridiculous because he like wore a bat suit romper. Yeah. Uh, it was like, uh, it was like, like yeah overalls. yeah over yeah a bat suit uh, overalls. Bat suit overalls and a t shirt, but he was like still ripped and kicked ass. Yeah. Somehow, <laughs> this four-year-old could do things that most adults can't do. Yeah, after watching Linkara's show for a while, you get what I say when I say the Silver Age is fucking weird, right? Yeah. Because the Silver Age was fucking weird. <laughs> Except for Superman. <laughs> Superman was double weird. But one of the things that was lost, I feel like... Okay, so you know how Batman's a great scientist, right? I, I, I may have done this speech before. It's not even my speech. Uh, I forget what it is that I'm even, that I'm referencing, you know. Um, you know how Batman's a great scientist and he's always like the science guy? He's the guy that people go to because they love science. Yay, Batman. Uh, Yay, I, science. I didn't know that they go to him for science. I knew that he, he's he got all this uh, co uh, well, he's cool like, tech. He's like Sherlock Holmes or, or Zorro. Okay. And he's literally Zorro. See, I've never read... Oh. The last movie he went to see with his parents. It was Mask of Zorro. Oh. Or Mark of Zorro, one of the two. Oh. Um, yeah, he's literally uh, Zorro. I... Because he's like, he's like a dark-haired rich man who is a masked crime fighter on the side. Speaking of Vitska... Uh... And he's also a, a, a detective and a scientist and an inventor. Oh, oh, look, it's it's Revenge of the Monopoly Guy. <laughs> it's Revenge of Monopoly Guy. <laughs> Did we play this one before? I don't remember I, this. I don't, I don't remember this either, but I remember uh, the Monopoly Guy before. Yeah, we you fought the Monopoly Guy before. Yeah, Whatever. Revenge of the Monopoly Guy. Revenge of Monopoly Guy. Um, yeah, Batman's literally Zorro. But... Uh, but, oh, um, uh... Quick side note. Speaking of uh, Zorro, uh, oh no, speaking of Avitska, the uh, uh, guy uh, who played Che in that movie, Antonio Banderas, he played uh, Zorro in the live action film. I watched that in theaters. I'm, I'm surprised at how old I am. Get a coin. Yeah, Antonio Get Banderas is super famous and... That Evita was like one of the small things that he did. Well, it it was one of the things that uh, helped jumpstart his career. Yeah, like way at the beginning. Yeah, like nineteen ninety six. Like how there's this anti drug PSA short film that they show in like middle schools that has fucking Will Smith in it. Wow, well, what? Yeah, I watched it in middle school even. Wow. 
I didn't see that coming. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was one of his earliest roles. Anyway, um Oh yeah, I, so you don't know Antonio Banderas was literally Zorro. I I did. And you, you didn't know that before What was the other yeah. what's the other thing that you've seen him in? Was it was it Puss in Boots? Yeah, I've seen that too. Yeah. Well, I've not seen the Puss in Boots movie. I've seen uh, him as Puss in Boots in Sh the Shrek movies. But I, I, it was just a side the, note. The character of Puss in Boots as Antonio Banderas is a reference to Zorro. That's why he does the, like... like. Yeah, I know. I know. Like, sword thing. I caught that. But um, the reason why... Uh, what I wanted to say about Zorro is... Or uh, Batman is... I've actually never read out of the Batman comics, so... That's why I don't see him as this, as a detective. He's just a guy running around uh, in a mask and cape. All right, when because... we're done with this, like we have all four seasons of the Batman animated yeah, TV series. I, I know that. We're, we're going to fucking watch them. I, I know that, but I'm saying... Get a coin. I'm saying go fuck yourself. I'm saying this because um, my, uh, ex my interaction with Batman as a thing was the 1960s show yeah he was a he was a scientist detective person in that show too like he had the bat computer and everything yeah that was the silver age that was silver age batman yeah yeah why I know. did you jump into the lava right because there, i'm a you? fucking idiot <laughs> because oh i died ooh, 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 oh, 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 oh what oh, 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 oh. i'm doing endless jess you're turning french I'm doing endless jazz. I think you're turning Japanese. I think you're turning Japanese. I really I, think so. I kind of don't think so. Um, but, um, but uh, Raya oh. Anami is my waifu. Oh, oh boy. This is going to suck. Yeah, we're going to have to watch that. Let, let's, let's go grab mask and watch it on 1.5 speed to piss everybody off. Watch, wait, what? <laughs> what? Uh, uh, you remember when Mask and I were watching... Um, oh, oh, uh, yeah, the, the, the Ava. On, on 1.5 speed. And... And, yeah, and you and didn't we include tweeted, me. We tweeted, uh, well, you were working. And I was sleeping. Yeah, you were working and then you were sleeping. And we watched like almost the entire series in like one sitting. Yeah. <laughs> I think it took two sittings. It, it took two sittings. Yeah, because we, we, we finished it. Motherfucker, the... I did it! Oh, I did it! I didn't do it! He didn't die. Yeah, he I know! Die, die. I know! But uh, now i got to start all over again. It took again. two sittings because we, we watched the first oh, I did not three see quarters that. of the series. And, and then... Oh, fuck. Fuck you. Darn you all the heck. Do you know what darning is? No. Uh, uh, darning socks. Yeah, repairing holes in socks. By, yeah. Uh, by fixing the weave because they were hand knit. Yeah, okay. That's what darning is. Yeah. Um, I, I, I learned that from Lindy Beige. But yeah, my... My experience with Batman is Silver <clears throat> Age Batman, and he seems less of a scientist, more like he just had these gadgets. That's really it. Well, he made all of those things. I, I didn't know that at the time. Yeah, they didn't make a big deal out of it. I also uh, watched... Caesar Romero up, forever. As I was... <laughs> I only saw him the one time. Ah, uh, three times. I actually don't I really... saw three episodes of it. I actually on don't... On Laserdisc, because I'm fucking old. <laughs> I actually don't care about Cesar Romero, like, technically. I don't know, he's just... You don't technically care about him, but like, you do figuratively care about him. Like, like, uh, like I know Wait, people uh, talk about him, that's about it. That's all my... Yeah. All my mother guy. really likes Cesar Romero. Okay, so, oh, I, I, I have a request for people. Please do this for me. But, okay, so, uh, Sven Gulli, he, he did a thing where he watched the uh, 1960s Batman movie. And um, uh, after the movie, or sometime during his thing where he was showing uh, the, the uh, movie, he did this uh, song where he, uh, like, about the 1960s Batman movie. And mm -hmm. I can't find it anywhere. Please, someone sh send me a link or send it to me. Please, I am begging you. You know, I saw advertisements for Sven Gulli, and I tried to watch an episode, but he was so boring and his makeup was shit, and I didn't think he was funny. So I, I skipped it. He scared me when I was younger. Like, uh, uh, I, I, how? I don't know. I, was, I would have been more scared of Elvira. I don't know, he, he just looked like a scary guy. And and not because I was afraid of tits, because I was not afraid of tits. He, he, I, he... I ran towards tits as hard as I possibly could from a very young age. 
Huh, interesting. But he just, he just, uh, I think it might have been uh, the makeup, but something about him just seemed like something like, uh, this is not something I want to watch. And he would, uh, his show would come on after the Three Stooges Stooge Palooza on uh, Channel uh, 6 in Chicago. Do you remember what network that was? Yeah, the, uh, uh, the U. Uh, UPN? No. UPS? No, 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 no. Channel... Uh, chan mind. channel, uh, s something the U. <laughs> I made a period joke on the show. Yeah, I know, but I'm, I'm <laughs> trying to think great. of it. But, uh, yeah, I used to watch Three Stooges Stoogapalooza, and his show would come on, uh, r right afterwards. And I'd always turn it off because, uh, uh, uh I don't want to watch. I, this, uh, this looks like someone that I don't want to watch because scary looking guy. Um, Boogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas scared me as a kid. Yeah. Like, I had trouble sleeping for, like, a day afterwards. I also saw the movie Alien way younger than I should have. I was, like, I was very small. Oh, dear. I don't know how you do that. I was, like, four years old. I don't know how you do that. That's, like, that's like uh, when uh, I was shown um, Titanic at very young, like, two or something. That and I would... Two, two, two. Yeah, so, yeah something... Something uh, around then. Three, I would believe, but two. I don't know. So, you have you have memories from when you were two. No, 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 no. This is all stories people have told me. Okay. But uh, so like around that age, uh, I was shown uh, Titanic, mm -hmm. or I saw Titanic, and I wouldn't apparently wouldn't let uh, people uh, give me a bath for like weeks. Oh, that's fascinating. Yeah, and I didn't know that a two-year-old would have like a concept of death by drowning at that time or like yeah. water disaster yeah water e water really cool. e water equals death or it did to me when and i think part that might be part of my problem with uh swimming because i can't swim and i refuse to let people teach me how to swim because i'm gonna fucking drown you see that that see <laughs> see that that's You're like, like seized up that was yeah because because i started thinking about it, it's like this is why I can't learn how to swim. My mom's tried to teach me to learn how to swim. Your mother Just, is a terrible person, well, well, and she's bad at teaching people things well, because that, she's dumb. Okay, well, that, but, like, somehow... <laughs> well, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, my, my siblings, they they don't have the same fear of water that I do. They don't, they don't like, have a problem with trying to learn how to swim. But yeah. I do. Yeah, you're, when we were trying to teach your sister how to swim, she did way better than you. Yeah, because... I, I think uh, that might be part of where that comes from because it just that's a deep rooted cool. psychological thing. I mean, it it sucks. Titanic has scarred me for life. It actually did. Yeah, that's fascinating. And I've got to say, the gate, wait, the gate. What's I... the gate? This wasn't here before. Oh, <gasps> oh, oh, oh yeah. yes! Oh, we were wondering. Okay, I didn't think you could come back here. I Holy forgot crap. that this is what that was. I, I, we didn't unlock this before. You are This correct. was not here. Oh, oh, wahoo, wowie, okay, yowie, Fujoshi trash, we're going there again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my why goodness. Do you think, why do you think yowie is popular with, with girls? Cause... And, and Yuri is popular with dudes. I was gonna say because girls are because guys are hot, uh, and then girls are hot. But I, I, yeah, I honestly don't know, and it kind of baffles me. That was my original theory: is it's like, it's like people like watching lesbians because it's sex, but with more women. Yeah, I, I like, have... like the proportion of women is now all, and yeah. so like. If it were if if it's Yaoi, then I imagine it would probably be the same thing. But somebody else um, posed this the idea to me. Um, I don't know if you have an, an, an internet handle, so I'm not gonna reference you directly. Um, you don't watch this show. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> Jeez. Oh no. It's really really. Oh oh. Is this story? Let uh, wait. Let me finish my thing first. Uh, go run around the planet. Okay. Um, the the theory that was given to me was if it's two dudes and you're a chick, then 
you don't have to force yourself to identify with the girl because she's a girl. And, or, and you also don't have to, like, see yourself with any traits that she doesn't have. And, like, it doesn't create artificial contrast. If it's two dudes, you can place yourself mentally with either of the dudes and have them, like, with each other. But it's still sex with a greater density of men. And... So you have you have more choice, and you also don't ha run the risk whatsoever of feeling like you're being objectified by uh, watching a woman be put in this obviously objectifying situation. So explain this the thing to me, uh, like um, uh, identifying with someone. Like, why like, is that a problem? Um. Because if they have traits that you don't have, like if she's a pushover and you don't want to think of yourself as a pushover, then you don't have to be a pushover. But if oh. it's a guy, then it's somebody that you are watching but not watching as. So, so are you saying that um, like people um will uh, watch as uh, whoever uh, the uh the person who shares uh, your gender or sex is? Well, if you. If you watch Dragon Ball Z and you're a 12 year old boy, you have a character that you think is the coolest and you think that that person is like you and you imagine yourself in your off hours doing the things that that character does and you try to like, like this is why people pretend to be this character or that character, that's why everybody has a favorite Power Ranger. And it's always the red one. Unless you were a nerd and then it was Billy. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> See, I don't... I actually thought Tommy was the coolest. I, only, I, I think I most liked, people. I only liked Billy later on. Most people will say uh, Tommy was the got coolest. Fucking jacked. Yeah, he did. Like halfway through the series too. He did, but I think most people will say Tommy was the coolest. But I don't. I don't understand. Like, can't people watch things without having to identify or like feel like they are being represented by this character? Well, it depends on like if you're. Now this is this is the theory. I don't actually like do this. But it's like, if you have some some appetite that isn't being fulfilled, you can get it from this. If it's a romantic appetite that's not, that's not, you're not having your, your button pushed. You're not having your butt pushed in. <laughs> um, you can watch somebody else have their butt pushed in. And get your get your fix of whatever that is from either direction. Oh, okay, let's let's I'd, watch the story part. I didn't That's, think um, running into her would. This planet. Oh, oh you yeah. do her voice. You have a pretty voice, uh, and but Rosalina's awesome. I I can't do a Rosalina voice. Okay, then just read it. This planet, it's very dear to me. Ah. I look forward to visiting this planet with the, with the Lumas every one hundred years. Why? The Luma that's been traveling with you may also grow up to become a star someday. Some Lunas become planets, some become comets, a few become power stars. I'm traveling with them while they look for a place to be reborn. Okay, I'm done doing it dramatically because I'm not doing Come well. On. No, 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 you're done. You keep going. But I never thought all this would happen. What? 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 The thing with the power stars? Well, yeah. how about this? If you grab all 100 purple coins here, then you'll earn my trust too. Do okay. it. You have to. Oh, God. Red Star. It holds the power of the Red Lumas. But the really amazing part about it is it allows you to fly after you spin in midair. Yes, fly! While pressing A, you can pick the direction you want to fly with Oh, that. man. If you can collect 100 purple coins, I'll let you use my power somewhere else. I want to... All right, the next time we see a, a, a Rosalina... I love this Mario skin. Oh, that's a great one. Yeah, uh, I was going to say something about that, but I didn't know if they would show it to you. Yeah, spin. And Ooh. away we go. Okay, this is interesting. Anyway. Um... Oh, yeah, we still haven't put... Next time we see an amiibo of Rosalina, I'm getting it, because Rosalina is, is my waifu. She's yeah. like an actual waifu, not, um, yeah, okay, she, actual waifu. She's, she's real waifu material, because she's like, 
like a sweet voiced or like like a silky smooth voice like like cheesecake silky smooth and sweet like cheesecake star goddess who controls the heavens and is immortal and has this like backstory and uh fuck you if you don't like rosalina do people not like rosalina yeah some people don't like rosalina Why? They, think she, they think she's just peach i don't think so she yeah. doesn't get kidnapped peach every is day. the worst like Except Daisy when... has Daisy has personality. Rosalina has pathos. Peach has a condescending game where you have superpowers that are driven by your out of control lady hormones. Wow, what? Yeah, um, there's an episode of um, some show. I'll it's in my YouTube history. I'll I'll pull it up for you. Actually, no, I won't because it's that my YouTube history is a thousand miles long. Um, I'll I'll Ooh. remember it eventually. If you get all one hundred purple coins, then you win the power of flight. Yeah. But Rosaline is the best, and I want a figure of her on my shelf next to my other waifus. My other waifus. I'm gonna turn around and look at all my waifus. We've got we've got Zelda, Lucina, Samus, Zero Suit Samus, and the Wii Fit Trainer. Are they that's, all your that, waifus? That's, that's my waifu shelf. They're all amiibos. Yeah, and of he them, makes me look at them every day. Of them, to remind me how what I'm not. <laughs> You better fucking learn. Uh, uh, nah, you could never be Samus. Oh, 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 that was a joke. Okay. Now Samus is six foot three and 200 pounds of steel. Well, like, without the armor. Without the armor, she's six foot She's six foot three and 200 pounds of muscle. Wow. Like, you cannot be Samus. Well, to be, I'm, I'm not, I'm, to be fair, you can't be the Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, you don't have this magical voice. That... I don't actually. Like for as much pride as I take in my voice and stuff, I do not have his voice. I I wonder though, can you like if you trained enough, can you get his can voice? Can you feel the love tonight? Can you feel the love tonight? Yeah, the you peace that last the night. evening. Brings. I mean, I'm I'm condescending like the fans. <laughs> <laughs> well, to, to be hold on, to be fair about that song, I haven't heard it in a long time. When you feel the love I can't tonight. hit the notes either. I, I don't have a musical the ear. I have enough of an, of an ear to tell when I'm not doing it right, but not enough of an ear to tell when I am doing it right. <laughs> oh, no. So, once... Tell a, the story. So... In, wait, I think. Wait, hmm. episode. Twenty-three minutes. Oops, Next episode. I did it again. Uh, motherfucker. Now give me your soda. 